right, y'all. Long time since I did a car chronicle. Um, I was a little bit under the weather. Oh, God, sorry. Hold up. Hold up. I know y'all want to hear that, though. That's a... But I ain't doing that to you. All right. Um, it's been a minute, and uh, I missed I missed doing the car chronicles. Uh, not a whole lot of sneaker sales. So I'm not in the car a whole lot when I'm not doing sneaker sales. But I am in the car a lot now because I added this Lyft driver as a business, right? And um, the very cool thing about it is the people that you meet in the process of taking them to different places and dropping them off. And um, I met a guy this morning and he was going for a job interview. And you know, I I took it personal that I get him to his destination quickly, safely, and in good spirit. So I went into joke mode and you know, talking and making him comfortable. And he basically divulged that he had been on a couple of job interviews and he did really, really well, but he didn't get the job. And um, I, I had to remind myself that I understand what he's going through and that at that point when he said that, I had to figure out a way to make him feel better about it. Now, that's not meaning that I have to make him think that, yeah, you're going to get the job. I didn't do anything like that. I didn't try to go over positive on him. What I told him, I said, very often, um, jobs are not a matter of what you know it's a matter of who you know and you could have done a great job but if they had a person that they already knew and that they had in mind more than likely you weren't going to get that job no matter how well you perform i said you know but this is what i told him i said um you know what aim and shoot for the job make sure it's the job you want and fight for it. I said, but as you fight for it, make sure you make mental kind of notes to yourself of what you're doing well, body language, and take all of those things that you're doing while you're in that interview. And then, you know, go over it in your mind, not in a critical way, not in a critical way where you're kind of condemning what you did or trying to pick apart what you did right or wrong. But go over it in your mind and say to yourself, okay, I did this, I did this, I should have a very good chance of getting this job. And then write down, write down how that interview went to you. Get your notepad, if you have a phone, get your phone out and put it in your notes and uh, keep a documented kind of history of how you felt after that interview. And then as you start to add more interviews, if you don't get the job, you add more interviews, go back and look at those notes and remind yourself, okay, this is what I did well. This is what I probably could have improved. And um, I felt really good about that interview and I'm going to feel really good about this one. But I guess what I'm trying to trying to say is this, uh, in the process of doing this lift driving and, and talking to people every day, um, it's almost like being at a barber shop and your barber is your psychologist or, you know, or your uh, confidant and they're speaking with you. Many times people get in the car and they don't want to talk or they don't want to say anything at all. But sometimes people do want to talk to you and your job, whether you're doing a lift driving or whether you're just being a good friend is to pick up on body cues. Notice what people are reaching out to you with and then make the correct response based on how the situation feels to you. But people are very often looking for assurance and advice. And if you can provide just a touch of support in that moment, you may have given that person just the thing that they need to walk in and conquer some major obstacle that's been in front of them for a while. So I guess that's what I want to leave you guys with. And that, that's um, the end of this one. I miss doing the car chronicles. I try to get them in in between uh, picking up different people and, you know, getting back out more and more, you know. But um, I appreciate the new subscribers. And I hope you guys are really um, helping other people. And that doesn't mean you have to go out of your way to do so. But if you find the opportunity to uplift someone, do it, man. Uplift someone. Make that day a little bit brighter. That's it. Car Chronicle.
wrap with you guys on the other side. Peace.